Hello everyone, so welcome to my YouTube channel and today our topic is static routing. Basically, the static routing is a process of routing that is done by the manually configuration and maintenance by an administrator. Basically, if I talk about the dynamic routing, there are a number of automatic met methods involved in that. But in case of static routing, you have to manually provide all the information including the network, including the direct network, indirect network, and the information of all the routes and path must be provided by the administrator. And you have to specify that which path will must be forwarded to uh, data flow and which is the uh, next hop address and so on. There are some key features of the static routing. First of all, it, in this, we have to do the manual configuration and no overhead configuration must be there. It is a simple configuration and Administrator is already aware about the behavior of network. So there are some advantages of static routing. First of all, you have you have 100% control over the routing path because the administrator must define the routing path. That is why he, he also have the 100% control over that. It is somehow susceptible to the certain types of attacks as compared to the dynamic routing protocol. It is it performs better as compared to the other protocols, right? To the dynamic routing protocols. Here, the usage of the resource will be low because in case of dynamic routing, there are a number of protocols are working in background, but there is nothing in case of static routing. So the CPU or memory use will be less in case of what? Static routing. So if I talk about the disadvantage of a static routing is that there's no practical implementation over the large networks. If I talk about the static routing, we cannot configure the static routing over the large network because in that case, we have to do lots of configuration. And if we want to extend our network to a certain route, so it cannot be possible be because we have to do reconfiguration of all the networks at that time. Lack of redundancy, that is means it will not adapt the changes in network there is nothing like convergence if any path will be down another path or alternate path will not be automatically selected right there is because there is nothing like redundancy in case of static routing and the error could be possible because every time you are doing manual configuration if there are 100 routers and 200 networks over there so you must be manually con configure and provide the network information to every single router in that case. So that is why this is not a good way to use the static routing on a larger network. But in case of smaller network, we must use the static routing, right? So now the another question is that why, why do we need the routing? So dear all, let us assume we have two different routers. This is R1 and R2. Whenever we provide the IP addresses, the direct network information will be automatically provided to the routers. So routers are already aware about, uh, already aware about what? The directly connected network. So these are the directly connected network to the R1, right? And R2 has the information of its own directly connected networks. But if I talk about the indirectly connected network, so this network is not known to R2, right? And this network is not known to R1. That is we. That is why we have to manually provide the information to R1 and R2. The indirectly connected network information must be provided to the routers in case of what? Static routing because these networks are unknown to the routers. That is why we have to manually provide the information to all of these. Okay. Now, how do we can configure the static routing? So first of all, go to global configuration mode, enable configuring terminal, then put the command IP route, the indirectly connected network information and the subnet mask of the of that network. And we also have to provide the next hop IP address. Like we are we were configuring, let us example, we are configuring this network 192.168.2.0. So first of all, we have to define this network, then provide the subnet mask of that and then the next hop address must be there. Then by the command write memory, the configuration will be saved in the router and show IP route will show you the routing table in that case. Okay. So what is the next hop IP address? Let us assume this is my router and 
this is the indirectly connected network 192.168.12.0 this router is the router which is connected to the indirectly connected network so the ip address that connector two routers is 192.168.112 that is signed to other router so this address this ip address or this interface ip address is called the next op ip address that is means the ip address assigned to the neighbor router interface that is connected to the router is called next op ip address okay that is simple now we will do the practical implementation of static routing so dear all this is my network so we have just labeled the ip addresses in that case so there are three networks available 192.168.10.0 11.0 and 12.0 so first of all let's provide the ip address to the pcs okay so go to pc desktop 192.168.10.1 and 10.1 is the gateway for the same okay let's provide the ip address here 192.168.12.2 and 12.1 is the gateway of the this local area network okay let's now provide the ip address to the routers okay for for this router how we can provide the IP address is go to global configuration mode, enable, enable configuring terminal interface G0 slash 0 slash 0. So I'm just con providing the IP address to this interface. So this interface has an, has an IP address 192.168.10.1. So let's provide this IP address. So first of all, we have to manually turn on this interface by the command no shutdown, then provide the IP address. IP address 192.168.10.2 and 255.255.255.0. Okay. Another interface is what? 192.1. Uh, this is G0 slash 0 slash 1. This is 192.168.11.1. Okay. So interface G0 slash 0 slash 1. No shutdown. IP address 192.168.10.2. 11.1 and 255.255.255.0 okay so you can see this link is, is still down because on other side we didn't have opened the turned on the interface okay so go to cli mode no okay enable configuring terminal interface g0 slash 0 slash 1 no shutdown and what is the ip address ip address is 192.168.11.255.255.255.0 okay on this interface the ip address provided will be 192.168.12.1 that will be provided to interface g0 0 slash 0 slash 0 okay so interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 no shutdown IP address 192.168.12.1 and 255.255.255.0. So, dear, we have provided the information of what IP addresses. Now, the main problem is that this uh, router is uh, aware about this network and this network, but don't know what is what is this network information available here. So, we have to manually provide the information of 192.168.10.0 in that case okay and same will happen in case of this router so this router is aware about the this network and this network because these are directly connected but don't have the information of this network so we will manually provide the information of this network to this router so that is why the communication can be possible in that case okay so go to router first of all check the routing table show ip route you can see the directly connected network information is already available here but indirectly connected network information is not available so provide that information okay so let's configure on this router provide the information of this indirectly connected network okay so configuring terminal ip route route 192.168.12.0 and subnet mask is 255.255.0 and what will be the next stop ip address so next stop ip address is this one provides this information to the router. So this will be 192.168.11.2. So that's all. Okay. On the other router, we will also repeat the same. So go to this router. 192. Let's provide the information. 
आई पी राउट वन नाइनटी टू डॉट वन सिक्स एट डॉट टेन डॉट जीरो टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फाइव फाइव टू फाइव फाइव डॉट जीरो दिस इज द सबनेट मास्क एंड वन नाइनटी टू डॉट वन सिक्स एट डॉट इलेवन डॉट वन दैट्स ऑल सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन डू द स्टैटिक राउटिंग सो बाई द कमांड शो आई पी राउट वी कैन चेक द राउटिंग टेबल इन विच यू कैन सी द इंडायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड नेटवर्क इन्फॉर्मेशन इज अवेलेबल एंड वी हैव सीन दैट एस इज मैंशन डियर वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एस एस इज मीन एस मीन स्टैटिक राउटिंग हैज डन वेन आई गो टू अदर राउटर एंड वील ऑल्सो डू द सेम बाई पुटिंग द कमांड शो आई पी आई पी राउट सो इन केस एस इज द स्टैटिक राउटिंग दिस केस वन नाइनटी टू डॉट वन सिक्स एट डॉट ट्वेल्व डॉट जीरो इज द नेटवर्क एंड वन नाइनटी टू डॉट वन सिक्स एट डॉट इलेवन डॉट टू is the next op address okay so this is how you can do the static routing okay everyone so please subscribe my channel and i hope you like the same have a nice day